in this screencast I would like to give uh, a brief demo of uh, the new VPLS ONOS application. So in this example, uh, as you can see, we have uh, four switches uh, named 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, and to each switch, there's uh, an host connected um, named H1, H2, H3, H4. Each of them is uh, sending in packets into the network with a different VLAN. Uh, host 1, VLAN 100, host 2, VLAN 200, host 3, VLAN 300, and host 4, VLAN 400. So now what we will do with, uh, is playing around with VPLS, uh, create uh, a new uh, on-demand uh, layer 2 broadcast network, uh, and basically let the hosts communicate together. So let's move to ONOS. Uh, I've just deployed on my local machine a single instance of ONOS and uh, uh, Mininet with the topology uh, explained in the example before. Um, so as you can see on the left side there's the I have the ONOS CLI, on the right side I have the Mininet CLI. So uh, if I do summary I have one ONOS instance running, four devices, ten links, uh, four hosts and uh, the 12 default flows installed on the switches. Uh, if I do hosts, you can see the, the hosts, each one attached to a different switch, running on a different VLAN, and I've already configured the interfaces called uh, H1, H2, H3, H4, as the hosts are connected to these interfaces. As you can see, each interface is uh, um, set on a different physical port, on a different switch, and on a different VLAN. So basically I say to ONOS that uh, it could receive packets um, on different p physical ports uh, using different uh, VLANs. So now if we go in Mininet, actually I didn't create uh, any VPLS yet. So from ONOS we can do VPLS list and as you can see, no VPLS are returned to us. This is because I didn't create any VPLS yet. So if I go on Mininet and I say H1 ping H2, for example, uh, the ping doesn't go through. So I'll start to create a new network with VPLS, a new VPLS. Uh, I will use the command VPLS add, let's call it network net1. So doing VPLS show, I can see that now I have a new VPLS called network net1 uh, with no interfaces associated to it yet. So now I will start to add interface 1 and interface 2 to the new network created, to the new VPLS created, and we'll see the ping working. So I say VPLS add e-phase net1 h1 and h2. As you can see on the right side, the ping starts working. So I can do the same thing at this point with h3. Of course h3 hasn't been added yet to the network. I can add it now and the ping starts to work. I can do the same thing with h4 ping doesn't work because I didn't add, I haven't added yet H4 to my network. As soon as I do it, the ping starts to work again. At the same time, I can remove also an interface. So I can say remove H4 from VPLS. And as you can see, the ping now is blocked. No communication is happening anymore. Let's add back again H4 into our VPLS, the ping starts to work again. So if I do VPLS show now, you can see I have my VPLS name net1 with associated interfaces H1, H2, H3, H4. So I'm not encapsulating the traffic through the core yet. Um, you can see these from encapsulation equal none here. Um, I can for sure activate encapsulation. 
Activating the encapsulation means that um, the packet, as soon as it eats uh, the, the first switch in the network, um, the VLAN packet uh, gets encapsulated into another layer, which could be either VLAN or MPLS. Uh, before reaching the destination, the destination host, uh, it happens the same thing. So the packet from the egress switch gets the capsule. Uh, and just one VLAN layer is kept just to, del to, to deliver the packet to the destination host. So let's try to activate encapsulation on for network one. Uh, we can do that with the command vpls set encap net one VLAN. As you can see, there's no packet loss. Uh, let's see the difference doing vpls show net1. So this time encapsulation has been set to vlan. If we look at the intents generated by vpls, we can see this time that there is a constraint on the intent Here we go. So now the, the intent has been compiled and the new intents installed have the encapsulation constraint VLAN. If we look one more level deeper, so we look at the flows. Actually, this seems quite confusing, but we can see in some of the flows that an additional VLAN ID is used is push on the packet. It could be this one, VLAN 3382, or this one, VLAN ID 1691. Let's try to remove encapsulation. So we set for net one, encapsulation equal to none. Also in this case, you can see that there's no loss of packets on the right side in MiniNet. So let's type the command intents again, and as you can see, the encapsulation constraint doesn't appear anymore. So the new intents don't use any more encapsulation. If we type vpls show net1, we can see that encapsulation is set to none once again. Finally, instead of vlan, let's try to set mpls as the encapsulation type. So instead of VLAN, I say VPLS set NCAP net1 MPLS. If I do this time VPLS show net1, you can see that the encapsulation type is set to MPLS. If I run the command intense, this time the encapsulation constraint is set to MPLS. Looking one more level deeper, if we do flows, you can see that this time you have some MPLS labels push and associated to, to the flows, to the packets. Thank you for uh, watching the demo and this Kristen. Uh, screen, screencast. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.